So Walmart has all the cute aesthetic glasses, starting with the beer can glasses. They're a dollar forty-eight. Um, this is really cute. Now I just said the other Walmart, but these are cute too with like the handle. Oh, and this is a plastic, so it's a good um coffee cup. They also have wine glasses for a dollar forty-eight. They have the wavy cups for $2.98. They have these cups for $2.67. Um, and they have these as well for $2.46. So I'm basically showing y'all this because Walmart has all the cute aesthetic cups for like my matcha, my coffee girls, or you just want a cute cup to drink out of. They have those here. I'm about to grab me two of those beer can glasses um they have a set too of the beer can glasses for for 7.98 but i don't need that i don't want the tops um and i don't like to use to go cups that are i don't like to use to go cups that are um glass so i'm about to grab these um i don't see no halloween stuff so i ain't gonna look for that and i think i'm gonna see if they got some creamer as well this is what I was talking about right here, y'all. $7.98 for four. You get the lid, straw, and the glass. So this creamer right here has gone viral, y'all. Have y'all tried this? I'm back home. I actually been home for about 30 minutes. 
Um, I came in, ate, and I was on the phone with my mom for a brief minute. But I do want to show y'all what I got from Walmart. Oh, and if I didn't say this already, um, don't mind my appearance in, during this vlog or how y'all gonna see me in the next couple of weeks. My birthday is coming up, so I'm gonna do something to my hair, of course. Then I think I'm doing a little quick style in between. We'll see, but um, I probably will. But um, yeah, my skin is a little red. I've been breaking out. I got like red spots on my face. I got this one on my neck. I don't know how I got there. But anyway, so if you see me looking a little bit, a little red, or you see my hair looking crazy, don't mind it, okay? <laughs> so I do want to show y'all what I got from Walmart. Um, I didn't pick up a lot, but I did pick up a few things. So um, I got the money orders for my rent. And then I picked up like two TV dinners or whatever um, to eat. And then I picked up these Better Homes and Gardens straw set. These are glass straws. You get four glass straws with a brush to clean your uh, straws. This was $3.98. Um, Y'all know like that matcha girl coffee girl aesthetic cute the cute um cute glass aesthetic you gotta have your glass straws um and i end up buying these these are beer can glasses that's the name of these if y'all don't know what these are called i know y'all see these everywhere um i actually picked one up when i went to walmart um, I think it was like Sunday or something. I went and I picked up one and I was like, I got to go back and get two more. These were $1.48, so I picked up two. So I currently now have three of these. Um, I like these. Like, and I honestly feel like the cup makes you want to drink more coffee. Because this week I have had coffee four times this week. And I usually drink coffee like three times this week. And I'm gonna probably drink a coffee tomorrow. But I, I honestly think it's the cup. Like it's too cute to just be sitting in my cabinet. You know what I mean? <laughs> so um, so yeah, that's everything that I got. I'm gonna wash these out before I put these in my cabinet. So yeah, that was it. Um I was also thinking about getting that caramel apple crisp creamer. Apple a caramel apple crisp creamer that I saw at Walmart, but I didn't. Um, I'm gonna probably end up just um, I'm gonna I need some more cream. I'll get some more tomorrow, but I did hear good things about it. But um, if y'all have tried that creamer, let me know how y'all like it. But while we are while I'm here, um, I did want to talk about a few shows that I'm watching. So, um, the first show that I want to talk about is Love is Blind. So this is season seven of Love is Blind. I started watching Love is Blind like season three or season four. I definitely didn't see the first two seasons of Love is Blind. And the reunion aired uh, this past Wednesday, so like two days ago. And honestly, re the reunion was a waste of time um, because Nick and Vanessa never ask the right questions to me. They don't go deep enough. It's like, I don't understand why, but they never really do. So, um, so yeah, um, I feel like this season was the best season for drama, okay? Like, how do you have seven couples get engaged, Leo and Brittany took their own trip to Miami and decided a couple weeks later like hey this thing for us got uh, called off their engagement so you had six couples that end up um you know going to mexico for the engagement moon or whatever and only two of the couples made it to the altar two couples were um taylor and garrett which i like them together i feel like they they are well they work they look good and they are good together because they both like science 
you know what I'm saying? So they're into a lot of the same things. Um, he gets her humor, she gets his humor, so it works out for them. They didn't have a lot of issues though. Um, just the ex, the text with the ex thing, but other than that, they really didn't have any issues. Tyler and Ashley, I'm gonna get to them in just a minute. But with the other couples, um, I'm gonna say just in general, with a lot of the couples this season they got engaged, I just don't feel like they really liked each other. I feel like they got engaged and then when they saw each other and started being around each other, it was like, you know what? I really don't like this person as much as I thought I did. Like, I may have had an emotional connection with them, but I don't really like this person. Um, and you could tell with some of the couples, like, um, who, re who wasn't really attracted to each other, like Hannah and Nick, right? Hannah and Nick, neither of them found each other attractive. But Hannah felt obligated to um, find somebody because and get engaged because she quit her job. Like, girl, you quit your job to come on Love is Blind. If you watch the show, you know that it may not go in your favor. But she quit her job, so she felt obligated, like, I need to find and get engaged, find somebody and get engaged. Um, Nick, to me, he wasn't really attracted to her either. They had, it was like kind of awkward when they first seen each other. And to me, they didn't really have any chemistry. And Hannah was really mean to Nick. I'm not saying Nick, you know, didn't have his fair share of meanness either, but Hannah was really mean to Nick. Um, Hannah's just a mean girl. And she, you know, she lost a lot of weight, but she's still a mean girl. And on the um, usual, like, I'm direct, I'm direct. She never really apologized to Nick for how she talked to him. Then you had Tim and Alex. I feel like Tim and Alex, they both got on each other's nerves. Like, Tim really irked Alex's nerves, um, in my opinion, from what I feel, from how I felt like they interacted. Like, when they was in Mexico, I was like, I'm a dog, roof. Like, and she was like, don't say that. And then he was laughing. And she was like, uh, no, like, that's not funny or cute to me. And, um, I, you know, he's just very combative. He just seemed like a person he's really hard to get along with. It's not like it's not really the way he wants it. He kind of, he just, I don't know. He just, he a Virgo. I mean, I, I know Virgos are perfectionists, but it's kind of like, he's real combative. He don't let you get a word out. It's like he's really hard on you, and then he don't give you no grace. So I don't really see how that was going to work, and I don't really feel like they had chemistry. Then you had Steven and Monica. Um, I feel like they were good together. I feel like they were good together, but Monica ignored the red flag when Steven said he was a cheater. And she was like, oh, I'm sorry. You know, I'm sorry about that. And then you get with him. And he cheats on you. So, what did you think was going to be different? Um, I felt like they had good chemistry. Um, I really wish they worked out. Because uh, I, I, I think it would have been interesting to see if they would have said yes or no. Then you have Marissa and Ramses. Um, I didn't like Ramses. Now, I'll be honest with you. I was like, you know, they're cute. Like, that's like the natural hair couple. Like, they both got their washing clothes. I'm like, okay, natural hair. You know, embrace the natural. But, um, I didn't really like them together. I think Ramses, he liked Marissa, but he didn't love Marissa. Um, he didn't like that she was in the military. He didn't like that she, her energy. Um, I feel like she would have been a better match with Bowden. I think that was his name. The other guy she had a connection with the past. I think they would have been a, been a better fit than her and Ramses. And then Ramses was like, really, after they had a conversation about the birth control and being intimate and protecting and stuff like that, she was like, well, you know, I don't want to get on birth control because she has an autoimmune disease and, um... She was like, I just don't want to do that. Like, you know, you can use protection. He was like, well, I don't want to do that. It was just a lot. So I feel like with them, that really was a lot of the reason they didn't make it. Then he tried to use an excuse as her energy as to why he didn't want to be with her. 
I just don't think he really likes her. I really don't. Um, now, the people everybody be talking about, Tyler and Ashley, I think Tyler was very wrong in how he did Ashley. Um, to me, you he could have told her in the pod that he had three kids. Um, I don't think it would have changed how she looked at him or if she would have uh, continued her, you know, connection with him. It wouldn't have changed. I don't think it would have changed anything. Um, it actually been better if he was upfront about it so she would have known. But he intentionally waited until now she loves him. They on the honeymoon and everything and they didn't have the engagement moon and they moved in and they're every day together. Now, right before the wedding, you're saying, hey, I am a sperm donor um, to my wife, his wife, y'all know what I mean, um, to a couple and they, they couldn't afford a sperm donor, so I donated sperm, which we know is not true from all of the information that's come out between Rod, his child's mother, Deshaun, his um, bride's ex-wife, um, and, you know, Storytime with Ricky, Jesse Wu, and some others have been really, like, covering those stories. I just feel like he manipulated her, and now it's like she said yes, and, you know, we, we you know, she just let the chips fall where they may, I guess, so to speak. And I feel like, you know, I would never be okay with my partner being a deadbeat, but if she's fine with that, that's on her. But I do feel like um, with Ashley, you know, she's a ride or die. She really wants it to work, and she wants to prove something to herself, you know, that, okay, I, you know, I'm worthy of love and everything. But, yeah, that's just a whole mess. Um, I, I really hope that she can stop before it's too late. And that she do not have kids by him. Because if she does, she going to end up just like those other women. Last thing I want to say about this, um, just in general, in regards to dating shows. I feel like with dating shows where you see black women, it's almost like you see a sense of desperation. And the producers on the show sense that desperation and use that against them. It's almost as if, like, they, you know, the black women go on a show and they feel like this is my last hope to find somebody. If I don't find somebody here, I'm never going to find anybody. And they deal with really anything just to say I have somebody, if that makes sense. It's like you can see a red flag. You can see what somebody do or somebody says. And you're still there because you just want it to work so bad and you don't want to look like a failure. And there have been a few times on like Love is Blind with AD, even with Ashley, it's like, you know what I'm saying? I want this marriage to work. You know, I'm going to be that person in my family. I'm going to get married and stay married. So it's almost like you're trying to prove something to yourself um, more than other people, because I don't think other people care as much, they're still gonna love you whether you're married or single, but we need to stop going on these shows and being so desperate for love. If you see a red flag, it's okay to say, hey, I see this red flag, and you know what, I'm not going to deal with this, I'm not going to choose this person, even though I like them or even love them, because I know down the line this is not going to change. And then in a lot of situations, you see, like, where maybe the woman chose that man. She chose to be with him, and he, you know, she saw the signs two, three years later when y'all not together, and it's on social media. Now you coming forth and saying, oh, he did this, or he was this type of person, where people try to warn you before you got in into that situation. Um, well, not, I mean, obviously it was pre-recorded, so we can't tell you before you get into it but you know what i'm saying we trying to help you once we see the show air like hey you don't need to be with this person and i think that um you know it's i don't know it's just the desperation and we gotta stop being desperate on these shows in the real life if somebody don't want you they just don't want you if you see the red flags you gotta leave because somebody is not gonna change so 
that's just how I really feel about black women on these same shows. But but yeah, um, that's all I got to say about Love is Blind. Something else I watched. Um, have y'all watched the Megan Thee Stallion documentary? I think she released it this week. The only reason I knew she had um, released it was it's a clip going viral right now on the internet, on social media, about her lying to Gail King about her being intimate um, with Tory Lanez. And so I ended up watching it today. It's good, y'all. I think it really shows like what Megan has been going through. She talks about like um, ha being having anxiety a lot after the shooting with Tori, and um, also she talks about um, she talks about like you know how being burnt out and how her life has been you know especially since her mom has passed um, like you know kind of like being depressed you know and stuff like that and drinking and being around the wrong people and stuff like that just because she you know she was going through something um it's really good you know um i really hope meg is in a good place you know now mentally because you know i feel like mental health is important a lot of people don't pay attention to it you know for real until it's too late and i'm glad she's speaking her truth and you know showing the world like hey this is what i went through this is what i experienced this is what i am experiencing so it's on crime if y'all have not watched it go ahead and watch that last thing this is real brief y'all because i know i've been talking for like 10 minutes and i don't want to talk too long uh, but i didn't want to catch up with y'all um young thug is free y'all he is free he pleaded guilty to the rico charges and young thug is going home okay um coming home and he um has 15 years of probation along with other stipulations such as he he's banned from the metro Atlanta area he can't be around the gang do anything affiliated with the gang promote the gang in any type of way um he can only be around Gunner and his brother he can't be around anybody else but i felt like we saw this coming because i feel like people were just throwing it throwing the case off on purpose like Woody for example how he get on the stand he said I can't recall or can you repeat that I feel like that was to throw off the case and I also feel like um just him being who he is I don't really feel like he was gonna get on time for anyways like you know um and they probably got tired of you know coming to court dealing with it and just say you know what if he plead guilty, we'll give him this. He could go home and be free. He just got to live by some rules. Um, so, everybody's happy that he's home. Everybody been posting about that. Mariah the scientist, y'all know that's his girlfriend. Um, she's happy he's home, but I really hope you do right by her because you see it too many times that these women hold these men down when they go to jail. And then when they get home, they do them so dirty. And um, I really hope he was faithful to Mariah while he was in there and not, you know, um, sending letters to other women. But you never know. You know, Mariah was out here doing, like, taking care of the business, probably with a lawyer and everything else that needed to be done. And I really hope he do right by her because she's so, she's such a, she seems like such a sweetheart. I don't, I only know her popular songs. I don't listen to her, like, you know, for real. Um... But, you know, I saw her on Push to Please. She was on Push to Please, like, uh, her last episode that aired. And I'm like, she seemed like a real cool down-to-earth person. So, I hope we do right by her. I hope you stay out of jail. hope you stay away from the, um, you know, anything that can get him back in trouble, you know. I don't understand why people who get out of the life go back to the life. You know what I'm saying? Or they interact with people in the life so heavy that they start to drag you down but you know you know that's all we're gonna hear about you know you're gonna probably have an album coming out real soon but but yeah that's really all i wanted to talk about um i'm about to take a shower and i got a movie i'm about to watch and then um i will see y'all in the morning
good morning y'all so today is saturday it's november the second um so today i have um some errands i need to run so first order business i need to go to discount tire i need to get my tire repaired i have yet another nail on my tire i'm so over it um but i need to go get that taken care of i do have the road hazard on my tire so it should be of no cost to me today so i need to go do that and then after that i need to go to kroger and audis i need to go grocery shopping so that's on the agenda today nothing too you know too extravagant or anything but before i leave the house um i need well i don't need to but I want to make me a um, coffee. I'm about to make me a pumpkin spice vanilla latte. So I have my water boiling for my espresso because I'm using this um, blonde espresso. It's a very popular choice. I actually learned about this from TikTok, y'all. So I went out, I purchased this when I went grocery shopping last week. So I got this, um, I'm going to be using oat milk, I have pumpkin spice, um, just the Calicio Farms creamer, um, this does have almond milk in it, I do like this y'all, um, I actually got this and this cold foam, the pumpkin spice cold foam, I actually got this on, at Kroger on clearance for like, I think the creamer was like a $1.68, the creamer, the I'm sorry, the cold foam was like one forty or something like that. It was under two dollars. Um, so I'm about done with it. So I will be picking up some more creamer today. But um, yeah, but I'm gonna be making that with this and then this uh, skinny syrup, the vanilla flavor, and I got this from Marshall for four ninety nine. When I tell y'all, I'm obsessed with this recipe i am obsessed this is the fifth time this week i have made this like it's crazy <laughs> and i try to limit my coffee intake y'all but yeah um we gotta do it today we gotta run this back uh while i got this because after this runs out i'm not buying anything in pumpkin even though i love fall um it's my favorite time of year i love pumpkin flavored things but you know how like you drink it for so long you like okay i'm ready for another flavor so so yeah so my uh water is about to be done so let me go ahead and get this prepped and i'm gonna show you how i make it now, so i just switched my angle um so to make this pumpkin spice latte like i said i'm using this blonde espresso it's really good y'all if y'all have not tried it go out and try it for this you do need water um, I am using hot water. So, um, I'm going to do two teaspoons. I have these measuring spoons. And this stuff will last you a while, y'all. So, I got my two teaspoons. Um, and then I'm going to add four ounces of water. That's a little more than four, but um, <laughs> I don't really measure it, um, but that's a little over four. So I'm going to take my frother and froth it. that all frothed it i'm gonna get my cup ready and i'm gonna start by putting ice in my cup so i'm gonna be using this ice here i found this at marshall's y'all when i went um monday and it's cute it has the let me show y'all it has the ice tray here it's 55 cubes and then it has a bucket for them to go in and it has a scooper. 
And I feel like when you do, when you're doing like drinks like this, like the ice matters. I don't like big ice. about lattes you use more milk so with okay so I'm an iced coffee girl I just recently started making these lattes but um the thing is with lattes it's more milk so like this I brought last week I'm like we got like a fourth of it left so if you do use lattes be mindful you will use more milk then I'm going to go with my uh, pumpkin spice creamer, but you got to shake it. You got to shake it. So I'm going to put that in there. Pour a little bit. Then I'm going to go in with my vanilla syrup, the skinny syrup. If y'all can find this, I highly recommend it. It is sugar free and it does not have an aftertaste. So now I'm going to go ahead and just stir this up. Mm -hmm. Get a little test. Oh, that's good. And now I need to add my espresso. So now I'm going to go in and add my espresso. Got my ice falling out. And then we're going to stir and mix this. Why is my ice falling out there? I do not understand. Mm -hmm. Spectacular. Give me 14 of them right now. Really? Mm -hmm. Do you know what's in here? I don't care. Add a little bit more pumpkin spice. If y'all do like purchase tires, make sure you get that service contract. Um, discount is great for that. Um, it's free to like repair. The guy was telling me like, oh, since it's in a tread, I could take the nail out, and if it leaks air, I we can um we can just do something to it. And I said no. Take, take it in um like put that plug in there um because i don't i don't want it to leak air and this 
discount tire is honestly not the closest to my house so for me i don't want to take that risk because i don't want to have to drive back out here if it leaks air and then have to take off work so i just told them go ahead and just do it it's free anyways it's not costing me anything so they should be done at 12 so that's like an hour and they're pretty good with their timing so so yeah y'all we about to just um i'm at Lowe's. i think i'm gonna go in here for a minute just to look around and i'm kind of hungry it's a kava over here i may go to kava and give me something to eat y'all like i'm starving like I tried to eat this morning, I couldn't eat, and then I was like, you know what, I don't know. So, kind of looking real tempting right now. So, we gonna see, they got Chipotle over there too, so, I don't know y'all, but, um, just wait, I'm just gonna wait for them to get this um, done, and then I'll pick y'all back up in a minute. I'm back home, um, all of my errands got accomplished. So I'm about to do a quick grocery haul for y'all and show y'all what I got from Kroger and from Audi. So we're gonna start with Kroger. Um, so at Kroger, I end up getting two of these bounty paper towels. These were on sale digital coupon for $4.99 each. I haven't told y'all in a while, but if y'all shop at Kroger, um, get the Kroger app. They always have weekly digital coupons and stuff like that. Um, I got some turkey bacon. And I got me some chicken breast. I got some fries. These are my favorite. These are seasoned waffle fries. Love these. I got two of these um, Nature Valley. These were also on digital coupon for $1.49. So I got the peanut butter and the oats and honey. I got a pineapple. I got me some buns because I'm making some chicken sandwiches, so I needed some buns. I ended up picking something I didn't need y'all because it was on sale. I got this iridescent um they call it a soda can glass. It was a dollar twenty-two. Come resist it, so I got that. Um, I got some rice. I got two hand soaps from Soft Soap. These were ninety-nine cent. Um, this I got fresh breeze and soothing clean. I got some dishwashing liquid. And then the last thing I got was just three. TV dinners for lunch. So that's it for Kroger. Now on to Aldi's. Um, I got some sliced Swiss cheese. And if y'all don't know, Aldi's is sometimes cheaper than going to like other stores. This is a dollar eighty nine. That's for my chicken sandwiches. I got some eggs. I got some egg rolls. I'm about to eat these right now, y'all, because I'm so hungry. And I got two coffee creamers. So I got caramel macchi macchiato, and I got this oat creamer oatmeal cookie. Um, this was $2.96. This was $3.59. So I will be trying these and let y'all know how I like these. But that's pretty much it. That's all I got from the store. Um, I didn't do too bad today. My stuff was on coupons, and then I went to all these for things that were a little bit cheaper there. But, y'all, I'm so hungry. I still have not eaten anything. I don't know why, y'all. I just haven't ate anything. So, um, I'm about to go ahead and eat, put this stuff up, um, put these chicken egg rolls in my air fryer, and um, I'm going to pick y'all back up in a little bit later. I'm about to go ahead and cook for tonight. So... For tonight, I'm cooking a Chick-fil-A inspired grilled chicken sandwich. So I'm going to be using these Wonder Hawaiian buns. Um, I like Hawaiian bread, so I figured these would be good. I have some Swiss cheese. And I have my chicken breast. I'm going to do two chicken breasts. So this is a two-day meal. 
this will be for today and tomorrow and then I have this small Chick-fil-A sauce the little Chick-fil-A sauce um, packet I had in my refrigerator so I didn't need to buy the full one um, and to be honest I didn't want to buy the full one anyway because I didn't want to um, waste it like I don't do a whole lot of sauce so I didn't want to buy it I mean I would have brought it but I really didn't want to like buy a big one so I found that one and that should be enough so I'm about to go ahead and cook my chicken breast. I already seasoned them. What would I usually use? Tony's, black pepper, onion pepper, I'm sorry, onion powder, garlic powder. Um, I can do my adobo, lemon pepper seasoning. Um, yeah. So that's pretty much it. I'm about to go ahead and start cooking this getting this together and I'm going to show y'all how I cook it um, I didn't get lettuce or tomato I don't eat tomato and lettuce I didn't want to buy none of that um, because I, I really don't got a taste for lettuce so it's going to be the bun the sauce the cheese and the chicken so let's get to it <laughs> It's 7 p.m. Friday, it's 95 degrees I ain't got no dick, and no nigga ain't got beat I'm about to show my ass, these niggas love a freak How the fuck is that your man, if he right here with me Turned up with my niggas, turned up with my bitches Turned up at my shoulders, yeah, cause I got that bitch Kiss my ass, turned up with my niggas, turned up with my bitches, turned up in my shoulders, yeah, cause I'm right here with me. I'm a fifth of head, getting fucked up with my twin. Got a backwood full of zop and a bankroll full of beans. All that, all that Twitter typing, bitches see me and ain't do nothing. Crop top with some biker shorts, I'm showing off my moose nut. I'm feeling good today, I'm outside with your pay. Got a brown skin nigga with dread, and a black ass nigga with white. He gon' drop that neck. Cause I got that bleak. 60,000 fans can't see me do my dance. Got a million. Alright, y'all. So the sandwich is done. This is what it looks like. It looks really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all a little taste test. Remember, I told you I don't got no um, lettuce or tomatoes on mine. So we're gonna go ahead and take a bite. I'm gonna do a bite from this side. Mm. Oh yeah. That's really good. Mm. Oh my gosh. Y'all, this is so good. Like, it's so good. Y'all see that? Like, chicken seasoned to perfection. The bun is really good. I um, toast a little bit. Yeah. Definitely give this a 10 out of 10. Super easy to make. You got some chicken breast at home. Definitely try this. Um, and to go with it, I'm going to um, have these seasoned waffle fries. These are really good. Y'all know she's so they got the regular ones, but these are good. So I took another bite of time with y'all. It's so, so good. Um, my fries are going to be done in a minute. Um, so, yeah, real, real good. Um, I'm about to wait for these to get done, finish eating my sandwich, and I'll pick y'all back up later. Hey, y'all, it's nighttime now. Um, I just got out the shower, um, and I just got done watching Street Legal. 
Um, it's good. This season, season two, this has six episodes. I think the first season has six episodes as well. So what it is, it's based in Detroit, and each episode is a different case. So, um, and I think they be kind of like recreating some old cases or whatever. So, yeah, um, it's good. It just went off. Um, and spoiler alert, if y'all do watch it, they win most of their cases. It's only like one case where they didn't win, but majority of the cases, they get the people off. But I'm finna watch Cons and Cougars. It has Alicia's in it and some other like actors and actresses that be in all the other stupid movies. So I'm about to watch that and just relax. I really don't have nothing else going on for tonight. Today was a good day. Um, busy, you know, but everything got accomplished. So I'm happy everything got accomplished. And um, yeah, I'm going to be relaxing for the rest of the night. Um, tomorrow, um, got to go to the gym and stuff like that. So I will pick y'all up in the morning. Good morning, y'all. It is Sunday. I'm about to get ready to go to the gym. Um, I'm about to put some ice in my cup. I got some water in here. I just need some ice. So, y'all, um, after I closed out the vlog last night, I did end up stepping out just for a couple of hours. I went to bed about 2, woke up about 8 something, but I wasn't in a rush. To like leave the house today it was like you know what I can kind of um wait a little bit to go to the gym I don't gotta go directly there and I ate today for I went to the gym which is something I don't usually do um but I was hungry I was starving so I had to have something to eat so it's like 10 o'clock now so well, it's about to be 10 o'clock because it's 9.59. Um, I'm about to go to the gym. And that's pretty much it, y'all. Nothing for today at all. I really don't plan on leaving the house after I come back from the gym. So, so yeah, that's that. <laughs> um, I low-key want some wine, but... I, that would require me to go back outside because um, I don't know if this is everywhere, but in Georgia, they do not sell liquor until after 12 on Sunday. So you will not find any liquor stores or if they call them package stores out here. You won't find any of those open until after 12. And if you go to like a um, grocery store like a Walmart, Publix, um, any of those type of stores, closer, um, they're not going to sell it to you unless it's after 12. Y'all yeah, did know. So, um, let me go ahead and get to the gym. Let me not put this on here too tight, y'all. One thing about me in this cup, I be putting it on here so tight and then I be like struggling trying to take it off. <laughs> but yeah, so, um, put this ice up. I got my shoes and everything going on. I just gotta grab my purse, head out the house, and then I'm gonna see y'all when I get back. So, it's like 3.36 now. I've been home since like 11 something. I didn't pick y'all back up. After the gym, I went to the dollar store, picked up some paper plates, um, stuff like that. So I haven't been doing anything. Um, I end up watching Woman of the Hour. It's a movie on Netflix. And I um, started watching um, this movie called Something about a broken heart. Don't give me the line, y'all. Yeah. I don't know what the name of it is. Because <laughs> I ended up falling asleep on it um, a little bit. And I'm not a person that naps normally. So, yeah, I must have been pretty tired to close my eyes. I just, like, dozed off. But I was like, let me get up. Because I'm hungry now. And um, I'm eating the same thing I ate yesterday. I made I, the uh, Chick-fil-A inspired grilled chicken sandwich. So I got my chicken breast. I'm going to go ahead and warm this up here. While I am in here fixing this sandwich, I did want to talk to y'all about something. We've been having a lot of chats this vlog. A lot of things have been happening, y'all. And... I, you know, I like to share my opinion on things and 
get y'all opinion on how y'all feel about that. So, um, the topic at hand is Cam Newton's recent viral moment. So, Cam Newton, if you do not know him, he is a, a retired football player. I don't know what team he played for, but I know he used to play football. And, um... He is, um, his girlfriend is Jasmine Brown, a.k.a. Watch Jazzy. She is a comedian. She's really funny. And, um, that is who he's in a relationship with. And they have a child as well. They just welcomed a child about less than a year ago. So the baby is still pretty fresh, you know. So, um, he has this thing on his channel called Funky Fridays. So he'll have different guests on the channel and um, they'll, you know, just be talking about that person and, you know, kind of like an interview. This particular episode, he had Hori Holcomb, who had already said something that was kind of disturbing, saying he likes women that are essentially financially poor um, so he can't build them up and he likes to feel needed. So I saw a problem with that statement, but I'm like, you know what? I'm really not surprised with a lot of these men because that's really how they, how they feel. But y'all, um, the moment in particular that I'm speaking of is with Cam Newton when he was telling Hori Call Holcomb about um him and jasmine's relationship the comment that he made was since being with jazzy that is not the only woman that he's been with so insinuating and basically saying that he cheats on her and it's so embarrassing as a woman to have your man say anything like that on um social media like at all because Y'all know how social media is and how these people will literally eat you alive with everything you say. And once it's out there, you can't take it back, right? You can try to clean it up, but it's it once it's out there, it's out there. So, um, he was like, you know, yes, um, and she knows this, you know, she knows this sometimes he steps out on her. And she is totally okay with that. And I don't want to say that she's okay with it, but she accepts it, you know. Um, and this is not his first time saying things like, I feel that are disrespectful to their relationship. Like, one time he had somebody on the show. They were talking about relationships and he was like, the topic came up about marriage. It might have been when, been when um, Dr. Cheyenne Bryant was on there. But um, he said, you know, he wants to get married, but he didn't basically want to get married to anybody that he was currently with, meaning he don't want to get married to her, but he's okay with being with her, making him, making her his girlfriend, you know, um, giving her a child, but not, you know, being committed to her long term. And... It just goes to show that these men are so embarrassing. Like, and it's like, it's nothing you could do if somebody don't, if somebody feel like I'm okay with it, it's nothing that I can do if you are okay with um, what your partner is doing. I just think as women, we got to have a lot more self-respect about ourselves. And I don't care how much money that a man has, we need to respect ourselves enough to not let that man be out here doing us wrong and embarrassing us on the internet. The sad truth is a lot of women accept it because they like the lifestyle that comes with it, like the glitz and glam, but these men are just embarrassing and a man shouldn't even feel comfortable saying that on any platform. If y'all, if that's what y'all do, then y'all need to have that private and keep it private, but let me know what y'all thoughts is on that. Because I think that's absolutely insane. And he's going to continue to embarrass her. So. But you know it ain't me. So. And it's going to be me. So. Let me go ahead and eat y'all. And I'm going to uh, pick y'all back up in a little bit. It's a little while later. 
um that food was even better today like I would definitely be running those chicken sandwiches back real soon and it was very easy to make as y'all saw so um i am currently editing the video that y'all are watching um me being not um vlogging for a while it's important that i like program myself back to the schedule that i set for myself when i like uh, when I'm putting out videos um, so I'm going through tonight doing like a rough edit and then I'll do like two more edits so I might let me go ahead while I got some time start tonight while my mind is on it so that's all I got planned for the rest of the night um, I already took a shower so um, pretty much after I you know finish editing what I'm editing tonight then I'm going to probably end up finding me a show or something to watch. I kind of want to watch Greenleaf again. Because I like that show. I kind of want to watch that again. So I might go back and start watching Greenleaf. But that's it. Um, that's all for this vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to leave a comment down below. And comment on the things that I talked about in this video. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you're watching this, you ain't subscribed, you need to go in here and subscribe, girl. Because I'm about to be coming with that content, okay? And you don't want to miss it. So, um, with all that being said, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.